Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Reed and this is Reed's Beauty Trip and this is my journey to hitting 100 pans or 100 pans. So I know some of my friends are doing it where they are using up 100 pans. I wish, but this is my journey to hit 100 pans and then maybe next year more of the journey of finishing up 100 products. Uh, powder products. Now I do have a challenge to myself to finish up a hundred full-size items. <laughs> this is not it. <laughs> this is my, like I said, really just getting use out of a lot of stuff that I have that I've never touched, never taken the packaging off of, never played with, and I am ready to get some love into some of my product. Now I am noticing a trend that I didn't notice before. <laughs> I am a bronzing fool, and you will see that in this video. <laughs> so, we're going to go over the ones that I did not hit pan in this month. The first one is my NARS Andromeda. I literally just started using this um, yesterday. So, it is crisp and fresh and very very little used and the reason was is because I was I had a another project pan that was in my year-long project pan and um, one of the shadows in it matched this so it did not get the love that I was wanting and this is my second update first update second update second update <laughs> it's just how it is <laughs> and then I have my KVD um, swoon now this one started in with the intro, I believe. Yes. This one started with the intro. This one came in in December. Um, I'm using it, you can't tell. But this is a big pan, KBD, I mean. But there is a itty bitty dip. So do I know if I'll, you know, if I can stretch this out to February, you know, Valentine's Day, we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. The other one I started with, with the project pan, this is my MAC Freshen Up Illuminating Highlighter thing. Um, I use the top for blush, but I am using, I don't know if you can tell. There is a dip down here with this part. Um, I don't think you can tell, but I'm working away with it. I Hopefully by next update, there will be pan. So these are the three that are staying in because I have not hit pan yet. <sighs> now, the two, I keep five in every month. Now, if I hit pan in other products, projects, then it does go in and we're gonna go over those and that's gonna be next. Because if we were waiting, it would take me two years, <laughs> at least. <laughs> so, I am bringing in this Elizabeth Mott, Pop Goes the Shadow, Mermaid Teal. Teal. This was in a project pan I had a few years ago, the Golden Girls one. Look at that. It, I've just abused it. So it has a dip. So I'm hoping, and I wanted to bring in color because a lot of my pans that I'm really kind of project panning right now um, are nudes. Shimmers, nudes, and stuff. So this little guy, Mermaid Teal. Really, look at that. Yeah. So I am excited to bring in that pop of color. So that's the eyeshadow, because I do try to keep about three eyeshadows and then two face products in my um, project pan. Hold on. Oops, I need to mark that one. So the other one I am bringing in is the Gigi uh, six Sculpt Bronzer Duo. I think I used it once when it came in and I did a get ready with me with my unboxing. So there's two of the duos. Turnt and Extra is what they're called. Hold on. A little micer water on here. So, those are the two that I am planning, I am putting in to start working on for this month. Now, 
the empties. And I need markers before I do that again. I keep wanting to put them up, and I'm like, wait, not yet. I need to make sure I log them, or, you know, that just goes wrong. I got stuff mixed up in my... Hold on. I put a moisturizer where my um, eyeshadows go. Well, that'll screw you up, won't it? Okay. So, the ones I've hit pan on. Now, finish some projects, end of the year projects, and so certain items did come into uh, my pan. So the two that I was working on this last month was All In, my ColourPop All In. And I did wait till I took up more of it. I had just barely hit pan and I kept it in just to hit more on that and voila and then the other one was my Kevin Aquan um, sculpting powder nice good pan I hit a little bit and I was like oh but I was like no let's do it a couple more days so here's the thing I must be a face product bronzing fool because I have hit pan on two. <laughs> well, this is a sculpting and this is bronzing. So I, I guess I'm a little more aggressive than I thought I was <laughs> with my face products because I also have my Tarte um, Feisty. And let me tell you, I, have a, yeah, I, pop, I broke the lid. So that blush too. So I do have some potential stuff to put in painting projects <laughs> to finish up this year. <laughs> So those three face products. Now the rest are shadows. So the next one was my Rimmel uh, Gilded Moon. I had it in a project a, year, a couple years ago. And I hit pan with that. I just love that yellow. And then these were in my projects um, Saltair that I was doing. So there is the Mineral Duo Bronzer. And if you guys have watched this at all, you know I've been working on this one almost for a good half a year. And then this is my Stila Kitten Duo. I am only going to count this one as one, not two. But there are two pans in that one. And then my Butter London Natural Goddess Star. And I think everybody really likes Star out of this um, palette. Because a lot of the ones I've watched, if they've hit pan, this is the one you've hit pan in. And I find that really, really fascinating. So I hit pan, even though some longer than others. Some were kind of gimmies, because I was, I've been working on them all year. But, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... So last month I hit pan in seven items. This month I hit pan in eight items. This is not bad. I um, it, It's making me feel really good. <laughs> so I'm up to 15 pans in this journey. So I'm getting closer to, you know, this. it just feels good. I'll be honest. It, you know, if I can hit pan in 100 items by the end of the year... This will mean a lot. Um, now, if it's something that's in a project, it will not count till the after the end of that project. So, now if it's a rolling project, I guess that will change it. But say if I have a, like I have my um, pan that palette, this will not count for this project until this project's over, which will not be till the end of the year. So, I am keeping those separate, that separate and stuff. Um, if I completely finish it, that doesn't count. That's a totally, that's um, a different challenge for myself. Um, if it's a completely finished product. So, I have two new ones coming in. Eight that I have hit pan on that I can log and keep track of. And then these can move to projects hopefully later on this year or next year 
but you know, but like I said, I am figuring out that let's see, because I hit pin and two bronzers. I have a bronzer issue. <laughs> two bronzers last update. Two bronzers this update. Um, so I'm a little bronzer aggressive. This one is a bigger pan though. These other ones they were smaller. This is a bigger one to for me to work on. So I should not hit pan in two bronzers for the next update. We don't know. It may happen, but I'm just saying. <laughs> So I hope everybody else is doing great with their project panning. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below. If you liked it, please a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love for you to um, join my journey when I can speak. <laughs> but I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.